become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here and a very happy May the 4th Star Wars Day to all you Star Wars fans, including myself. May the 4th be with you. Today I have a May the 4th Star Wars Day special. Yes, you are not as strong as your father or your grandfather for that matter. Why? Because testosterone levels have been declining rapidly since the Bronze Era and that is the early 1900s. No, no, you can shout know all you like. I mean, I feel like crying like Luke Skywalker myself because it truly is a horrible fact. Today, we are going to look at some recent studies on this alarming fact and the possible reasons for it and what we men can do to avoid it. Now, a recent study in 2007 from the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism has shown that testosterone levels have dropped 1% per year since 1987 all the way to 2004. And that is a total of 17% in, the, in those last 17 years. God knows at what level it is now. A Danish study on the same year in the same journal found that between the years of 1920 to the 1960s, testosterone levels had dropped 14% which is a little bit a bit a little bit of a lower rate than more recently but um, the the studies are showing alarming facts that testosterone levels are definitely declining now all in all this means that from the bronze era if we compare it now to the modern era testosterone levels have actually dropped at least 30 percent since the bronze era and most likely a lot lot more and worse still is the rate at which testosterone is decreasing. It's actually the rate of decline is more rapid than ever in our modern society. Now, the reasons for this uh, rapid decrease in testosterone levels in men is really complex. Let's have a look at this complex issue. Now, there are many reasons, as I mentioned, to this complex issue. One of the most highly responsible has to be our lifestyle changes over the last 20 years. When we look at, for example, at our diet and nutrition, the availability of fast food, which is high in calories and low in nutrients, has led to a plague in obesity. And um, having this higher content of adipose tissue or fat tissue in the body has um, a hormonal impact. Basically, our systems, our hormonal systems are in absolute chaos with um, increased cortisol and estrogen, um, obviously leading to a disbalance and a, and a decrease in testosterone. Further, when we consider that a lot of this food is, is processed and wrapped in plastic, um, they are drenched in chemicals, and also these chemicals leach into our hormonal system, into our bodies, and they obviously cause a, a, a chaotic effect in there, decreasing our testosterone levels further. Now, although technology is a wonderful thing, it really is amazing to see how fast-paced our life has become. But in this accelerated life, um, with increased uh, interactions, and, and, and although te technology has made things much more efficient, we have overall become much more lazy. We don't have to walk, for example, to the shop to do our groceries anymore. We just drive there. Uh, we, have, we can also drive and just pick up fast food. It's, it's a double insult, isn't it? Not only is the fast food bad for us, but we don't even have to spend any calories to actually get it. It's ridiculous. Um, walking, basically, overall, is neglected. And although in the past it was a necessity uh, to, to do and to obtain anything, Cars have negated this in public transport and made walking a pastime. It was as common as breathing before. And so um, the lack of exercise and just overall laziness due to the impact of technology obviously has affect our, uh, affected our lives greatly and our testosterone levels have suffered for it. Now, further, technology has impacted our work life as well. When we look at work now, it's obviously much safer and faster and way less dangerous to work in society nowadays as it used to be in the past, like this photo here. Um, I love this shot um, of these men, just real men sitting on top of that uh, beam uh, as, as uh, you know, I think it's in New York City as they're building the skyscrapers. Um, but yeah, ma mainly technology has allowed us to become more sedentary. 
were sitting in front of computers and even hard labor such as agriculture or building construction does not require the brute strength of, uh, of the men of yesteryear. Um, therefore, men are, are less strong nowadays than our ancestors. Um, and who of you, for example, would rather take a sedentary, high-paying job than hard manual labor? I'm pretty sure most people would. Now, another possible reason why testosterone levels have dropped is because we are now living in peaceful times. And yes, peaceful times are great when we compare them to the times of war of yesteryear. But in, but in becoming now a peaceful society, our survival instincts have been dumbed down. And it is no wonder then that testosterone levels have dropped because testosterone is necessary, is, is necessary for survival and it is not necessary in non-violent times like nowadays. Finally, our demands for a fast-paced, greedy lifestyle fuels technology and therefore it, the production of more and more products and, and things that we need in life um, leads to the production of more environmental toxins, naturally. Um, and of course, not only ingesting it via our foods and, and being, having a lazy, um, non-threatening lifestyle is, is already wreaking a havoc in, in our hormonal balance, but then having to breathe all these toxins as well. I mean, that's just, it's just further insult to injury, isn't it? So what can you do to prevent the declining testosterone plague that is threatening manhood these days? Well, I mean, one of the first things that most people can do is simply a change in their lifestyle, such as eating fresh food, um, natural unprocessed foods, um, and where possible, um, that is not wrapped in plastics, like for example, just go to a market with some brown paper bags. Um, use natural products on your skin and on your shampoo and your cleaning hygienic products. Um, and of course, exercise, get off the couch for God's sake. And instead of driving to work, uh, use a bike or walk if, if you can. Uh, instead of taking the lift, take the stairs. Uh, where possible, move. Where possible, move. Very simple. Now another thing that we men can do is to lift heavy free weights, not just go to the gym and exercise. And I emphasize free weights because even technology itself has made exercise easy with the availability of machines. And free weights have almost be, been shunned on these days where you almost get kicked out of the gym for, for deadlifting three or 400 pounds and, and people tell you, oh, it's making too much noise for God's sake. It's weight for God's sake. It's three or 400 pounds. It's supposed to make noise. And so in, instead of using machines, use free weights. They are more functional. They require stabilization. They work your grip and your test levels will rise because they are simply more dangerous to perform. Uh, it's more dangerous to the entire body and so therefore you, you switch on your survival mechanism and your test levels go up. God, they have to go up because you're lifting heavy weight for God's sake. And so um, it is way better, for example, than sitting on a machine all nice and padded and comfy, you know, on your ass and pushing an attachment to a lever which does all the work for you. You know, lift something heavy. That's, uh, it's as simple as that. Lift heavy free weight. Now, having said that, um, it's also important to include, for example, powerlifting movements, such as the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, the overhead press, or Olympic weightlifting, even better. I mean, even better, a total body workout with Olympic weightlifting movements. And these will definitely increase your testosterone levels. Now, if you really want to get crafty, I recommend the practice of the odd lifts from the Bronze Era. We're talking these very important long lost uh, lifts of the past, these techniques, such as the one arm bent press as shown on the left by Arthur Saxon, a real man with a move for God's sake. Uh, the one arm snatch is also displayed here by Arthur Saxon of the Saxon Trio. Uh, we're not just talking about lifting heavy barbells with one arm. These are awkward movements. But what about lifting rocks, logs, sandbags, whatever, whatever. Anything that's awkward and heavy and tough will tax your grip and require every ounce of strength and stabilizer in your body. And these are the long lost secrets of the Bronze Era athletes. And it is what made them superhuman. This is why people said they had superhuman strength because these lifts also tax your tendons and ligaments. It's not just about the muscle, it's about the strength of your structure. And odd lifts will definitely tax your structure as well as give you one hell of a test boost. 
Now talking about doing something crafty, how about doing something that scares you? I'm, I'm a real believer of this and I've been practicing martial arts for about 25 years. We're talking not just Kung Fu, but mixed martial arts, wrestling, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, real dangerous stuff. How about gymnastics, hand balancing, rock climbing, ab sailing, things that really get you scared. Things that, you know, that may cost you your life. I'm not saying, you know, put a gun to your head, but do something that is truly challenging. Challenge yourself because your instincts will be heightened and your survival instincts will kick in and your testosterone has to go up because you're doing something much more difficult. Um, and so we are living, for example, in peaceful times. So what best way to induce your survival instincts than to artificially produce it through leisurely so-called activities. I mean, I find leisure in these things because they are challenging. And when I can do them, I have this sense of satisfaction this, and, and I can feel the changes in my body, the confidence. These are the things that a man should have. Confidence, goal setting, and, and, and not be afraid to do something that, that other people would go, are you crazy? Yeah, I'm a little bit crazy. I'm a man for God's sake. I've got tests running through my blood and I'm proud of it. That's what you should be thinking. Um, and it is no wonder nowadays that men that practice these, uh, these, you know, these arts are tough as nails. You know, they've got a grip of steel and they are true alpha males. So go out there and do something that scares you a little bit. Challenge yourself. Now, as a final recommendation, I say get out in nature. Get out in nature. Get away from the cities which have become a cesspool of chemicals everywhere whether it's in the food or in the air or even in the water. Get out in nature and enjoy it. Breathe in and be happy. Go for a walk. You know, walk up and climb a mountain. You know, that's that's also tough, <laughs> climbing a mountain. You know, or just trek up a mountain. Go out into the sea and swim or on a lake. Get out in nature. Breathe and, and get back to your roots. Uh, your body will thank you for it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this um, may the 4th Star Wars Day special and yes may the 4th be with you looking today at the rapid decrease in testosterone levels in men and what can be done to avoid this horrible horrible trend like Darth Vader I implore you I beg you to please join and subscribe to the Golden Era Book Room if you've enjoyed watching these videos remember my channel is not only about lifting heavy stuff but I also hope to re-educate us people and us men in the old school methods, the old school weightlifting and bodybuilding methods, so that you can become uh, the strongest version of yourself, as Elliot Hull says, and reclaim your manhood and live a strong and happy life. Anyway, as I said, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content, content like this. Um, you can... Um, also donate to PayPal if you if you can go to the link below um, the details are given there you can become a patron to support my work www.patreon.com forward slash golden era um, gold sorry golden era bookworm um, I also have a website nowadays called uh, golden era bookworm forward slash website where you can find old school courses from Eugene Sandow a real strong man and Reg Park a strong man and legend of the silver era of bodybuilding. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching the video, as I said, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, leave me a comment. And thank you again for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now, and may the fourth be with you.